good day. The television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. President Armenak Abrahamian will answer the questions of our compatriots on December 28. The subject of the day with Grigor Amirzayan. The fate of Europe depends on Artsakh. An appeal was filed against the court's verdict. Yerevan has again received proposals from Baku. The U.S.-Russian deal on Armenia. The Armenian Church of St. Astvatazin in Yedesia has turned into a ruin. The President of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamian, will make a speech at the end of this year on December 28. You have opportunity to direct your questions to the President to ensure a smooth and organized question and answer at the beginning of each question. It's necessary to indicate your full name, place of residence, profession. The questions should be brief and clear. The question and answer will be broadcast on the state television channel of Western Armenia, giving viewers the opportunity to communicate directly with the President. The period of submitting questions will run from December 25 to December 27 in this year. Grigor Amirzayan, deputy of the third convocation of the National Assembly of Western Army, sent the year-end message on the occasion of Christmas and New Year. The deputy noted that in 2024 they have many times more to do and they are obliged to make it an background year for the further strengthening of Armenian statehood and the development of our country. The Supreme Representative of the European Union's Foreign and Security Policy, Joseph Borrell, stated in an interview with The Guardian that the existence of the European Union is threatened in Ukraine. The European Foreign Minister, in fact, admits that the fate of Europe depends on whether the so-called democratic world that will forcibly recognize the legality of conflict resolution. Now this question is being resolved in Ukraine and Palestine. But Ukraine and Palestine became possible because the democratic world recognized the results of the Russian-Turkish terrorist war against Armenian in Artsakh in 2020. In a joint statement of the United States and European Union on October 21, 2023, the signatories remain loyal to the establishment of lasting peace between Armenia and Azerbaijan based on a mutual recognition of sovereignty, border integrity and territorial integrity. The European Parliament adopted a resolution and called for sanctions against the members of the Azerbaijan government who are responsible for the violation of ceasefire international on human rights in Nagorno-Karabakh. Vagif Khachatryan, who was abduced by the Azerbaijan forces on July 29 in 2023 in the corridor of Berzor and convicted on false charges, filed an appeal against the court's decision. This is reported by the mass media. On December 25, the evidence and personal data of Vagif Khachatryan's appeal were examined at the session presided over by Judge Hassan Ahmedov at the Baku Appellate Court. The first court session was scheduled for 2024 on January 7. Yerevan received Baku's proposals on the peace treaty. The spokesperson of the foreign ministry, Ani Badalyan, informed the journalist about this. Bayramov said that official Baku received the next package of recommendations uh, regarding the peace treaty from Yerevan at the end of November of this year. They look at this issue realistically and optimistically. At the same time, when they talk about the peace agreement, they must realize that it won't be sold everything in 100%. The article New York Times informed that Russian President Vladimir Putin is informing to Western countries that he is ready to freeze the conflict in Ukraine along the current front line. The statement has caused a lot of noise. In general, articles of this type have become frequent in American press, which expresses the intentions of Biden administration. The American Institute for the Study of War, referring to the New York Times article, wrote that Putin may seek a temporary ceasefire which would be beneficial to Russia for earning time to prepare for a new aggression against Ukraine. Many American experts believe that behind the article are those who are trying to maintain an unofficial channel of negotiations with Moscow. The historical Armenian church of St. Astvatatin in Germush village of Edessia is in the danger of disappearing completely. Although in 2018 the church was included in the material support program of the Heli Provincial Administration, until now no work has been carried out to repair the church. Fatma Geber writes about it in a Duvar periodical. Fatma Geber writes that almost all churches in the area have been converted into mosques. Previously there were two churches here, one of which has almost completely disappeared. There is not even a trace left of that church. Therefore, according to Muslim Choban, the authorities should restore the Armenian Virgin as soon as possible. This was all for today. Goodbye.